What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're back once again, and we're going to be talking about some Resident Evil 8 The Village. Now, if you guys missed the trailer, it's going to be showing on your screen here in a few minutes, but I want to go ahead and talk about this. First off, I'm going to go ahead and say I was not expecting to see Resident Evil 8 at the PS5 event, but obviously I'm glad that they did. But a lot of the rumors that they were willing to uh, diverge at this moment in time, I was very shocked that they did. I was shocked that... Resident Evil is going this route because obviously there are a lot of rumors going on right now that are speculating what's going on. Now we do know there's going to be some cultists, there's going to be zombies, there's going to be werewolf-like creatures, there is going to be a lot of different types of creatures in this game. There's going to be an old witch which we got to see in the trailer and also we have Ethan as well as Chris Redfield returning. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of the information from what uh, I have been reading. Now a lot of the leaks that's been coming out um, I have not been covering it because again I I wanted to see if it was true and it looks like everything that was coming out was true that Ethan as well if you guys watched my review uh, and reaction to the trailer Ethan and Mia uh, following the, the events of Resident Evil 7 uh, they have a child together it is deformed um, obviously Chris uh, somehow finds out uh, is either acting on his own or working with Neo Umbrella or, or, or something comes in and I guess tries to kill the child as well as Mia. Now apparently Mia does help somehow survive and Ethan gets uh, abducted by either this team that goes in that with Chris and trying to kill them uh, or this cultist tries to get Ethan as well. So we will be seeing more of Ethan in the game. We will be seeing a little bit of Chris as well. So we all also know there is going to be a lot more of uh, really... From, from what I've been seeing, what I've been reading, which I found to be very interesting as well. I also found out that Blue Umbrella uh, could be the, uh, the the ones that we are unsure what's going to happen. We obviously also don't know what uh, Ethan looks like. We may be able to see what he finally looks like finally after all this time. Um, again, this is a follow-up to 7, and I'm very happy they're finally done because 7 had a lot of different diverse of opinions. Uh, there's also a new character by the name of Emily that we're going to be seeing who is looking for her father. Uh, we're also going to be seeing, of course, Mia uh, also now that Ethan has found her. But we're also going to see what, what has happened to Mia now this is what's really interesting is we don't know if Mia was pregnant while during the events of seven and then she found out after the events of it happening uh, that could have been the reason why this child is deformed uh, because of of course uh, Ellie taking control of Mia during this time as well as what she did to Ethan so we do not know with everything that has happened if uh, either it was either during the events of uh, Seven, that uh, Mia was pregnant, or afterwards, so we don't know how long this takes place after the events of Seven. Uh, we don't know why Chris is going after Ethan and his family. We don't know why he's pretty much killing innocent people because there is a reason why uh, Chris should be doing this, whether he is doing it on his own accord or whether he's doing this because he's ordered or because of something else. Now, we also don't know if Ethan's baby is a bioweapon. We don't know if uh, this child is going to have powers. Uh, we do not know because, again, there's been a lot of, uh, in the trailer, we get to see a woman holding the baby. So, obviously, this could be Mia with uh, Ethan and her uh baby we do not know if it's a boy or a girl we also can see a symbol which of course looks like umbrella uh we do not know if this is neo umbrella regular umbrella we, we do not know we don't know if it's blue umbrella we, we don't know um we also know that key founders uh oswell spencer is supposed to be coming in as well as uh alex wester is supposed to be making an appearance as well so we also get a character um, who kind of resembles uh, Marguerite Powers from the bug that we got to see in Seven, as well as uh, a lot of people from what I've been reading and what I've been seeing. They're they're wanting to see. It's like they're mixing four with seven with seven to basically get a, an eight, and which is kind of weird. And we're also seeing okay, Louis Seria from Resident Evil Four. That could be who that is. Uh, the character with the hat, the long hair, the little sunglasses, so we don't know uh, if that's him from the fourth game, because obviously he may look different, but at the same time, we're going to see Blue Umbrella as well. Chris saying the day of Blue Umbrella uh, Task Force, we also know that he's moody in the doorway, Ethan's house. However, the organization seems shady. Uh, we don't know if Chris is now uh, doing something or they did something to Chris. Uh, also, of course, it 
can't tell if Ethan's going to lose his hand again with this character. It's sort of like kissing his hand, so we don't know if she's going to cut it or do something. Um, we also know, of course, the first time Ethan did lose his hand, of course, when his wife, uh, of course, Mia, was possessed by Ellie. So we do not know if anything else is going to happen. Uh, we also know that there's going to be werewolf like kind of creatures, which is going to be kind of cool. Uh, obviously, we don't know if this is Chris. It looks like Chris. Uh, we, again, we do not know if this is uh, something someone's done to Chris. We do not know if he's done, if Umbrella has done something. Because again, uh, with Chris being involved with Umbrella, there's a reason to that. It was not really shown within any of the other games, especially at the very end when he says, Hey, I'm Chris Redfield. It really does show that Chris uh, was wanting to go the leap and try to handle all these BOWs, but at the same time, we do not know if there was a reason why, unless he was ordered to go after Mia and Ethan and kill them, and they're, and possibly kill the child or kidnap the child, because again, Umbrella is very well known at trying to cover up or wanting to control BOWs or wanting to extract DNA to create their own and be able to create their own army or whatever it may be. Now, once again, we do not know if Chris is acting on his own or if he was going to do something to actually kill Ethan and Mia. We do not know if he's actually good. It, there's three ways this could have gone, in my own opinion, with uh, Ethan. Because Ethan, obviously, he's going to go out for revenge uh, to find out what's happening to his family to see if they're still alive. So, obviously, we do not know if Ethan and um, Mia's child does die. We do not know that. But we also know that Mia is going to survive from leaks. His child on on uh, has not been said just yet, but at the same time, we do not know if Ethan uh, is going to go up against Chris. It could be Chris versus Ethan. We can see where Chris has either been uh, pretty much mind controlled, or we are going to see uh, pretty much Chris act like he's going to kill them and really be on their side to help protect them. Or at the same time, we do not know if Chris is going to be doing something to obviously take on the BOWs and be able to kill Ethan, kill Mia, and kill their child and be able to maybe destroy any evidence that they were there and maybe kill them at the same time to basically give them uh, a peaceful death so that way they don't have to be subjects to experiments of Umbrella. So there's a lot to go into this that has been unsaid as of yet. So right now it's all up in the air until the developers as well as the writers and everybody else comes out and says, okay, this is what's going on. This is what's happening. So I just want to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts on this. What is your thoughts about um, why is this happening with uh, Chris as well as Ethan? What is your thoughts? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments down below. If you guys are new channel, consider about subscribing. What is your thoughts about Resident Evil? eight village let me know your thoughts and stay safe out there once again i'm seeing you guys on the very next one